What's up everybody, it's Jerry here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a new episode of Crash of, the, uh, Crash of the Titans. There will not be any questions that I'm going to be answering in this, because as I said in the last episode of the series, <laughs> after I finished 11 on episode 5 on YouTube, I, uh, I stated that right after episode 11 was done recorded, uh, you know, I was going to hop straight into episode 12 with the same guest, so Fred is still here. Um, but there's something that we were talking about that just absolutely fucking destroyed me that i need you to like talk about again and pretty much we were discussing about like people asking us for shit and shit like that also the game is lagging a bit so i think i'm gonna be uh messing with the resolution again but wait hold on hold on wait yeah it's time to mess with that resolution again uh, but nah, dude, you can talk now while I, uh, do this shit, and, yeah. <laughs> Tell them about the, uh, the shit. <laughs> yes. Alright. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bruh. The what game. The fuck? Yo, it's still acting funny right now. This is not good. Let me just stop screen sharing and see if that works. And since we're not even, like, wait, you can still hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, and since we're not even, like, um, yeah, it was the screen share, just as I figured, but, uh. Um, what if you turn the screen share off and turn it back on, what will it do? This man. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me try it one more time, Let me try it right now. Looks fine to me. Essentially give it a reboot. Nah, bro, that shit's still slow down. It's still slowing down. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. All right, no more hiccups. Besides, since we're not answering any questions and you don't really know what's going on in this episode right now, uh, it doesn't really matter, so it, don't worry about it for now. But, um, yeah, so what the fuck were you going to talk about? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, y'all know when y'all go out in public and then, like, some random motherfuckers ask you for fucking change and shit like that. Like, while I was at the fucking mall, like, this dude was like, Hey, man, you got some change for nigga get on the bus? You know, I ain't no bum or nothing. And it's just like, no. I ain't no bum or nothing. It's like, it's like, bro, I don't owe you shit. Like, get out of here. Bruh. Dude, you gotta tell him about the park incident. Oh, yeah, like, we uh... Discord that day. Yeah, we, we were... Cal and, uh, I think, Brandon. Yeah, it was Cal. I remember Cal was there, and Deontay was there, and, uh, yeah, Brandon might have been there, I'm not sure, but I know that I was, I was chilling at the park, I was on Discord, I had, like, an AirPod in my ear, I was talking on Discord, this dude walked up to me, and was like, yo, you got a cigarette, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> like, and he's just like, you just ruined my day, <laughs> it's like, bro, <laughs> dude, you're asking a kid for a cigarette. I mean, you know, we're not like kids, but you know, we're still kids in the grand scheme of things. Like, dude, for real? Yeah, like, niggas always think that I got something. They always think I got weed or fucking cigarette. <laughs> it's you like. Know, in some sense, I could see that as being kind of flattering. Because they might think you like. I don't know. I don't know how to word it. They just see something in you that you don't see in yourself, which is so fucking weird and funny at the same time. Yeah, especially half the time I probably look high as shit. They probably think I got something. <laughs> That's probably why, <laughs> bro. I'm done. <laughs> it's like even if I did have something on me, it's like I wouldn't let you have any piece of it. It's like I don't fucking know you. Exactly. All right, this part of the level when we're in these little like whatever the fuck these, these platforms right here, they get really annoying, and we're gonna be fighting a lot of enemies. Pretty sure you know what I'm talking about is when you have to like get on these platforms and they move up after you defeat all the enemies in episode 12. It's the uh, construction environment. I don't think I remember liking this level to be honest. I don't like it either. It's like the background and everything doesn't really seem all that great. It's just, you know, platforms and that's it. Mm -hmm. Pretty bland. Compared to uh, the other levels and the Doom levels. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're gonna jack this rat-sicle here. 
Ah, I failed, I failed. <laughs> All right, so now we got more to deal with. And as usual, these titans are gonna try to cuck the shit out of me. What the fuck? Bruh. So I hit this enemy downwards, right? He died, but I could jack him, right? But since he fell down and I tried to jack him from where he was at, I died with him. So the game, like, sucked me downwards. Wow. Like, bruh, bruh, that was so weird looking. All right, so we can't, oh, wait, we can't attack him. Yeah, we can attack him. All right, that gives us the advantage since he's frozen. Oh my god, fuck off! Oh my god, and he's. No, you know what you could do? You could turn the screen share on in episode thirteen, probably. Episode thirteen? What? You just look it up or something? Like, uh, like what I mean is like it's probably not going to be that demanding compared to this one. Yeah. I think the problem is is that the game is probably rendering all the platforms at once, and there's uh -huh. like no turns or anything. Everything's just in front of you. That might be why. Yeah. Alright, next part. Ah, oh, shit. That was close. Oh my god, that lag. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Yeah, whenever I get footage of this game, I'm probably gonna get the Wii version. The Wii version? Yeah, it's the 60 FPS version. What do you use? Oh, you use an actual Wii remote too, don't you? Yeah. You know, I could probably get that shit working on Dolphin on stream, yo. So I could play it on streams. If I can, uh, uh... If I get a new Wii Remote. And what, a Bluetooth? Or what's it, what, what do you, how do you, how do you, like, configure and use that shit? Oh, it's real easy. You, basically, you get this USB sensor bar. Yeah. It's real cheap. It's like $10, some shit. And then, like, you have it by your monitor and you use that for, like, the Wii Remote. And you just gotta get this fucking driver for the Wii Remote and that's it. Okay, sweet. Oh, damn it. Okay. I think that you gotta close. get a driver. I can't fucking remember, but uh, I gotta set the shit up again. Because I haven't opened my new one. Because my other one, I fucking broke it. Because the cord was so skinny, I fucking broke it on accident. So I had to buy another one. But they're so fucking <laughs> cheap. So it was easy. All right. Oh my god, dude. There's like, there's five raticles on one platform. And they're all like running from my cheeks right now. This is terrible. Oh wait, I don't even need them. Huh, we living. Right? Yeah, I don't need them. Oh, uh, okay, so, just ran past them, alright. Big yeet. Get out of here, sir. Radical's definitely one of my favorite, uh, titans. In the titan slash mutant era of Crash Bandicoot, I should say. I think the titans have some really interesting designs. All the designs look dope, yeah. Like, they don't all just look like generic monsters or anything. Monsters, they actually, yeah. yeah, have unique design to them. Like, especially when a lot of the enemies in, like, for example, Crash 1, a lot of the enemies were, like, basic as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, a, a fucking skunk walking back and forth, or a fucking, uh, turtle. <laughs> yeah. Kind of bland compared to what they came up with down the road. Okay, that was weird as shit. I guess it's because he was still in that, uh, those frames of animation. That's why I couldn't really hit him. But yeah, let's destroy these targets and then we'll be able to... Oh, man, damn it. We'll be able to, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Crash this fucking freeze frame. Looks really fucking, like, cool. You see his, like, his body stretching and shit. But yeah, we outie. Oh, we're done with that episode. Alright, sweet. So, episode 12 is finished. That didn't take too long. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, but we do have more. So, let me try sharing my screen for this boy here. And we should yeah, be good. It's a lot more fun when I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Episode 13. Here we go. I think a cutscene appears. I think. I'm not too sure. Or at some point. I know Engine is here. Yeah, you fight him here. Episode 13. Doom Raker. Oh God. 
Oh shit, dude ran up instantly. Alright, wait, he ran up to block? Who does that? What the heck? It's like the program to block, like a lot. Yeah. On this difficulty setting, probably. Mm hmm. Uh, it's probably one of my least favorite episodes, though, because of this fucking. The three way this... path shit. Uh huh. I mean, it's interesting, but. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Episode 14 is, like, fucking beautiful. The game's lagging. Stop. Oh my god, bruh. It wasn't like this before when we were in the last episode. I mean, it was lagging, but like, it was doable. There's a fucking shadow bug with this game. Pretty much Crash is like covered with the entire shadow. And I'm playing the game yeah. in high-ass quality right now. So, that's probably what we're gonna do. Especially when I'm like screen sharing. Oh. Whoops. All right, let me fix that real fast. Ah, this is so trash, man. There's a couple of games in this emulator that have those shadow glitches. Like, I know Creature from the Krusty Krab has it. He's still emulator. And like, when you put it in OpenGL, the issue's not lagging. there, but it runs but like shit. You know what shit. I think this is a result of? This is a result of, uh... The PS2 emulator. Because if this was the PS1 emulator, this shit wouldn't have been happening. Yeah. Have you yeah, tried, like, jumping and then pressing R1? Okay, That's an easy way to get off. Got one. Yeah, no. That's the suckish part. Wait a minute, I could just slide through here. Ooh, that was close. You always gotta. You always gotta jump when they try to shoot. I have. It's not too much. I, I usually press triangle. Oh my god, that was close. Oh shit. Ooh. All right. What the heck? Come on, get me out of this. No, bruh. Wait, what? That's supposed to freeze me, not... Yeah, in, in Dolphin, this definitely runs better. Yeah, it did before. But now I'm just trying to get these motherfuckers. Plus the 60 FPS also helps. There we go. You gotta do the three... You gotta do the three-hit combo to get that one. Ugh, the game is slowing down. This isn't good. Yeah, another one you need Fuck. a fucking stench. Keep him. Yeah, I fucking imagine. <laughs> I freeze all the motherfuckers here. Bro, what the heck? Hold on, fam. Fam, 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 fam. Do I need a fucking. Oh my god. It's almost as if I forgot. Did you know if you freeze all of them, you hold triangle. Yeah. Like, like, they'll eat some die. Damn, bro. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, can this freaking thing come out already? And there's somebody outside with a fucking motorcycle. Jesus Christ. This episode has uh, been very uh, interesting so far. Alright, can that thing come out now? There it is. Bro, can that dude like go somewhere or like run or crash into a wall or something? Holy crap! So jack that motherfucker. <laughs> I guess my motorcycle now, bitch. <laughs> if only. Okay, for a second I was about to say yo, the shadow glitch isn't there no more, but nah, it's still there. Oh shit. Oh, yikes! You know what? Fuck it. You don't need that bitch ass, yeah. Ow! Ow! 
Wow, I pressed triangle. I am the best fucking crash of the Titans player. Oh my god. Y'all wanna know something? This shit is pretty much the same shit, but with more enemies, bruh. You destroy the goddamn machine, then you destroy it, bruh. This is stupid. Yeah, it's the same formula. Yeah, I might just edit this out for real. There's no point. But, I, I, people don't need to see the last part any damn way, because it's legit the same thing. You just add more titans, that's it. Oh my god, who cares about you fucking doom monkeys? Get out of here. Finally, oh my god. Alright, we're done. In them guts. Alright. Yo, what the? Oh my god. Alright. There, I'm out. Alright. Now, I'm gonna go through the middle one. But I think in the middle one engine is there, so maybe I shouldn't skip it. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, he is. Okay, alright, good. Then I'm not gonna do anything. But I am gonna edit these graphic settings, so give me a sec. Alright, we're back. And I changed the graphic shits. By the way, there's a there's a fucking shh. Crash, you fool! You're too late! It's time to drop the Doom Hammer on you! Uh, the Doom Hammer of Doom! Upon you! And let's just dance, baby! <laughs> Crash, you fool! You're too late! It's time to drop the Doom Hammer on you! Uh, the Doom Hammer of Doom! Uh, upon you! And let's just dance, baby! Alright, well, that was oh, yeah. fast. Jerry, it's a secret, like. You can use the sludge to get all those all fucking right. things. You can use the uppercut on that thing over there. You don't have to use the stench. That's what I used to do. Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, you should do that to save time if you want. I'm definitely gonna do that. Sheesh. What is this nigga even? I don't even know what he's talking about anymore. I can't believe yeah, that actually worked. Wow. Yup, the shit I fucking discovered in this game, yup. How the hell are you not a speedrunner of this shit? Well, I'm <laughs> assuming speedrun is not really a thing. Yeah. Unless you really, like, know a game. Alright, got his ass. In him guts. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Cutscene. Well, what do we have here? You'll tell us where Coco is, won't you? Of course not. Disgusting, filthy bandicoots. I hate them with cheese. They made it here. Now they'll help us save Dr. Cortex. Don't be ridiculous. You stop it. Hold on it. We're with Nina now. We're with a winner. But Dr. Cortex is our friend. You don't have any friends. He always kicked you in the tuchus and other very gentle spots. But I liked it when he did that. It was kind of fun. Listen, we make a deal with this filthy rodent and pine nuts face, and they help us save the master. Then we shower them with doom. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we shower them good, right in the eyes. <laughs> Listen up, corn dog. You help us, or Crash will sing you some knuckle music. Help me, good. I promise. And once my precious master has been freed, I will gladly betray you. You don't even look like a bandicoot. What? Shh, it's all. <laughs> anyway, get out of here. That's right, stupids. You need to go to Uka Uka's lab and stop him. That's where they make all the delicious mutants. <laughs> Maybe your revolting sister is there too. Ugh, girls. Time to go, Crash. My God! See at the end. You see at the end oh. where his mom was frozen. The yeah, Mojo believes Stolen is working perfectly. We're making more loyal mutant soldiers than we know what to do with. Yes, for once everything seems to be going according to plan. Yo, Uka, what's the matter with you? I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. What? Spit it out, Kindling Face. A tremor in the Mojo. 
The last time I felt it, it was in the presence of my older brother, Aku Aku. Oh, Jeebus. Crash and Aku Aku are here? Uh, I'll take Blondie and make her finish work on the robot. You, stay behind and kill Crash. Oh, yes. I will kill Crash Bandicoot. Kill him forever. Oh, I love this part. Okay, it's done. Alright, now it's actually done. Damn. Alright, I forgot about that fucking part of the cutscene, but, uh... You were saying? Bro, I remember that I made a fucking joke at that part where Ukuku did that. Oh yes, I will kill Crash Bandicoot, kill him forever. I had said Activision in a nutshell. Oh, and I then that. and then Woody was like, Oh, I love this part. I said fire's radical staff. Oh my god, you're <laughs> crazy dude. Okay, it's done. I remember that part. Uh Alright, so this episode may end weird, but like if I can't do this episode for some reason, then I'll save it for the next video. Like, I'll actually put this one up and then give it time and then, you know, eventually answer some more questions and shit if people have any, but, yeah, we're gonna try episode 14 now. Damn, I deadass forgot about that second half of that cutscene. Whoa. Alright. Wait. Uh. Ah, uh, this is beautiful. Yeah, sorry for uh, not talking. I'm just like trying to make sure this shit doesn't like act off fidgety because this is the most technical. This has been the most technically difficult. Uh, this is uh, the episode that, that has had. This is the only episode that has had like the most technical difficulties, and I don't want that anymore in the future. Shit's really weird. It's whatever though. We'll live. This shit right here is one of the best parts about Titans. Fucking love sliding with Aku Aku, dude. Oh, shit. That was really weird. Alright, we're about done now. Aw, oh, fuck, dude. Isn't this where we fucking... Uh... Oh, God. Isn't this where we like run into the bats? Yeah, later on. I fucking love the way those niggas dance. I don't know why. <laughs> They're like tribes people, but not at the same time. These dudes hit hard, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, we got a voodoo bunny skin. That's cool. Alright, look, we can't deal with these dudes, bruh. Bruh, okay. You know what the skins do, right? Yeah, they uh, they make it easier for you to uh, jack certain Yeah, teams. and like, it makes them die in one hit. Like, when I used to have like the Radnition skin, because I liked how it looked aesthetically, and like, whenever you would hit the Radnitions, they would just fly mm -hmm. one hit. That's how it always is with the smaller ones. Yeah. I thought it was a very cool mechanic that did that. Okay, bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro. All right, we're going to have to improvise a bit here. All right, so what I'm going to need you to do is just like... Oh, fuck. Since I stopped sharing my screen, the game stopped lagging and shit. But what I'm going to need you to do, bro, is to just like... What, tell me what's your favorite episode, why you like Titans, yada yada yada. Because that lag okay. is annoying as fuck. But it's gone now. 
I can barely, I can't remember all the episodes, but I do remember like 14, how it looked, despite it being pretty short. Yeah. All right, y'all. So a lot of people like to, um, what's the word? What, 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 what am I trying to say here? Uh, there's a lot of people that, <sighs> okay, I got a question for you. So do you think that because Titans is repetitive, do you think that it's meant do you, do you think that it's meant to be repetitive? And is that always entirely a bad thing? Also, I got the uh, the Bat Titan now. What's this thing's name? Bat the Battler. Okay, what I think is that the reason why Titans is repetitive is because the game is rushed. Some of the levels, like a lot of the levels, have a very inconsistent amount of length. Some levels are short, some are long, some or in the middle like it's very fucking inconsistent despite it being 20 levels is inconsistent like if you really think about it it has less levels than the original trilogy has in each game oh you're right yeah it's it has to do with the game being completely rushed and like they tried to add so much more content that's kind of why it's shorter they added more content like the originals had because the originals were more straightforward whereas titans has more content in it so you know obviously there's less put into the level design but that's why the game feels kind of short in a way like it doesn't feel long enough in some ways like i feel like i could just breeze through it whenever i play it right. it's kind of gotten to that point and like it's it's kind of sad like they should have had more time to make it but obviously that wasn't the case so it's repetition has to do with them not having that much time to add. They probably I wanted to add more than they could possibly do. That's why in Mind Over Mutant, they designed Mind Over Mutant the way they did was probably because they wanted to add more to Titans but didn't have enough time. Right. But since they had Titans already existing, they had something to build off of. Pretty much. I feel like that's what the case is. Like if they had more time for Mind Over Mutant, probably would have been able to make it less repetitive and actually probably not make that fucking map an afterthought and actually make it good because it's fucking garbage yeah it is the map is why i didn't play it that much when i was a kid because like i mean i rented it but like i'm just like what the fuck is this map where do i go and i kept getting stuck all the fucking time it's like like you go back to the game after like a few months and then it's like okay where do i go and like i don't know where to go god damn bro yeah, it's the way the game's designed. It just doesn't go well with the fact that it's open world. You need to always know what to fucking do, man. Yeah. They could have had an overhead, like a fucking icon that shows a direction where you need to go. There's so much they could have done with Mind Over Mutant, but like, they it's unfortunate. Yeah. A hardcore Crash fan will definitely appreciate it more than I do. Like, I'm not a, as big of a fan of it as I am of Titans. Yes, I am. I like Mind Over Mutant. But I feel like it, Modern Remune takes a lot of steps. Uh, it, 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 it goes a few steps forward, but some steps backwards, I feel. Yeah, like I like how they tried to make it more open world, more open. But like, I feel like they could have executed it better than they did. Because mm -hmm. right now, we don't have any Crash fans. Oh, I'm not fucking, not Crash fans. Crash games that execute the open world aspect that well. Because all we have is Twin Sanity, which is a linear game trying to be open world. And then we have Mind Over Mutant, which has very bad map design and doesn't do a good job of telling you where you need to go. Yeah. It's heavily uh, memory based, essentially. That's what Mind Over Mutant is like. Alright, we're almost done with this episode. We just need that free jack. And that definitely doesn't help, because, like, Crash was always more of a casual game, so, like... Fuck. There we go. The fact that they don't make it clear what you have to do is just not good game design. At all, bro. It's like with Titans, just boot up the level, you know exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. You're going straight Dude. forward. Yup. And the level design complements like where, uh, where you need to go as well. Yeah, it's like when games are open world, they have to be designed well because they take more time. And yeah. like Mind Over Mutant was rushed, so like that really did not help it. Yeah, if they had like an extra year of development, it would have been better, a lot better. Yeah, it feels like most of the budget went into like the animation of the cutscene. Yeah. 
which I appreciate. Yeah, it's just sad because the gameplay is supposed to be the priority. Yeah, for real. Especially when a crash, like, the gameplay is very fucking important. Like, I can understand when fans don't like Mono Review. I can understand it, but like, you know, taking it for face value, like, I feel like more people should just give Titans a fucking chance instead of just like dismissing it for being different. Exactly. Then Are we form done? an opinion yep, we're on done. it. I finished, uh, I finished episode, what was it? What was that, 14? 14. Yeah, I finished 14. You got 15. Then I got 15. Oh my god. Alright. So, I'm not gonna worry about episode 14. We took care of what, how many episodes? 12, 13, and 14? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, that's actually why I'm gonna end the episode. We'll handle 15 and 16 and maybe 17 in the next episode. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have any more guests because, like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna need them to, like, talk about shit without looking at the game because sharing my screen is hella problematic for the emulator itself, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll take on episode 15 and maybe 16. Uh, I may have guests, but I'll just try to, I I'll improvise. I'll see if they, like know what the frick they want to discuss and shit like that so yeah yeah i did my best <laughs> yeah thanks for uh, being on these two uh episodes of the series um i'm gonna try to get two more other people but i'll see i'll see i'll see but yeah um you guys have a good one thank you guys for watching again um i'll try to answer as many questions as i can and i'll also try to get the next person i have on here to answer the question as well just so we could get two different uh, perspectives or whatever so yeah you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys later. And yeah. Deuces.